Welcome to my channel, Generation Fighter Jets. Did you um, have lots of meetings with customers and whatnot? Scorpion Attack and Reconnaissance Aircraft by Textron Airland. The Scorpion is a two-seater plane. The Textron Airland Scorpion is an American jet aircraft planned for sale to perform light assault and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR operations. It may be flown by a single pilot. Cessna secretly built a prototype at their Wichita, Kansas factory between April 2012 and September 2013, and it first flew on December 12, 2013. Textron Airland, a joint venture between Textron and Airland Enterprises, is developing it. The Scorpion ground attack aircraft was developed by Textron Airland as a private venture. This aircraft was specially developed to meet possible requirements of the U.S. National Guard and export customers. This light attack aircraft is cheap to buy and to operate. It is a budget alternative to small foreign militaries. Many countries have a need for tactical aircraft but cannot afford high-end models. The Scorpion bridges the gap between small turboprop planes and pricey jet ground assault planes. If a buyer is found, Scorpion manufacturing might begin in 2015. After the production order is obtained, deliveries can begin in 15 to 18 months. Light assault, reconnaissance, domestic interdiction, air patrol, and training are all capabilities of the Scorpion. This aircraft can only do low-threat battlefield missions. However, in terms of range, endurance, and sensors, it outperforms turboprop aircraft. It is stated that the aircraft is tough enough to withstand minor damage. Unlike other ground attack aircraft, the Scorpion makes extensive use of commercially accessible off-the-shelf business jet components, primarily from the Cessna inventory. Demonstrator of the Scorpion is powered by commercially available Honeywell TFE 731 turbofans. These engines are widely used on commercial business jets. Also, these cost significantly less than purpose-designed military engines and are much easier to service. A lot of later Scorpion models may have different engines. Pilots claim that the Scorpion was agile, nimble, and strong even when flown on a single engine during test flights. The aircraft lacks fly-by-wire to simplify the design and keep the costs down. The Scorpion's flight hour, according to the developers, costs only $3,000. No Western-purpose-built turbojet attack aircraft can come close to this amount. For example, flight hour of the F-16 costs $25,000. The aircraft has retractable nose mount for electro-optical and infrared sensor. It is retracted into the nose when not in use to minimize drag. The aircraft has internal weapon bay. For reconnaissance role, this bay can be reconfigured to carry sensors. It can be also used to carry extra fuel. Furthermore, depending on mission requirements, the internal bay can be configured to carry a mix of weapons, sensors, and fuel. External hardpoints are available for various armaments such as gun pods, missiles, rockets, and bombs. This aircraft is capable of carrying precision-guided weapons, guided by laser or GPS. The internal payload capacity of this aircraft is 1,360 kg. Additional 1,400 kg of ordnance can be carried externally. The Scorpion unit should cost less than $20 million. It is less than an A-10 or F-16 upgrade. All content on the Generation Fighter Jets channel is provided for educational purposes. Thumbnails, videos, and titles are for illustration only. So today's information, I hope it's useful and becomes knowledge for all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.